Hey everyone, this is Jason Schroeder, the game director for South Park The Fractured But Whole, and with me today is... Hi, I'm Kimberly Wigand, the associate producer on South Park The Fractured But Whole. All right, so it's our first night here as a superhero in South Park, and we're the sidekick of this guy right here. This is Captain Diabetes. Captain Diabetes! That's right, his name is also Scott Malkinson, and he is a kid with diabetes. All right, so we've just broken into this window... Uh, and we're going to be we looking it. for some Our sort of girl, mm. just like Scott says. Boy. <laughs> uh, what are you, a leprechaun? So, uh, the girl he's referring to is someone who knows something about missing cats in town. Our mission tonight... What, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> Our mission tonight <laughs> is to f get information because we want the reward for finding these missing cats. Yes, it's a very fun kids playing superheroes type of thing that the kids are doing in South Park. That's great. All right. So... Uh, oh, and sorry, before oh, man, we move on, I do want to mention, <laughs> this guy is great. Uh, so I have to mention that pretty much every character in this game has been hand animated. So everything you see here is just painstakingly was animated by a real person. All the regular unique. Um, so this guy is yeah. actually one of our favorites. Uh, he is fun and he's kind of oh, wasted. Now it's going everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for all of that work. All right. Uh, so let's head out to the main hippo floor and see if we can find our girl. Okay, we made it inside the strip club. <laughs> wow, these ladies are really, uh, moving. Well, don't freak out, Sidekick. We're superheroes. We can handle this. One of these ladies has information about the missing cat. But who? There's only one thing we can do. We have to pick someone and take him to the VIP room. Find someone and meet me there. All right, the one new kid is totally unfazed. <laughs> right. All right. So, as Scott says, we need someone to take us to VIP, and our mission just told us to talk to some strippers. So I'm gonna talk to this daycare young lady. Is behind the bar, sweetie. And she immediately insults me and tells me daycare is behind the bar. I feel like I'm not being taken seriously. What does this guy say? Can't talk right now, guys. Too busy dropping these jams. <laughs> this guy is great. So he's the Peppermint Hippo DJ, and we at the studio love him. Uh, like we parody him all the time. He definitely is a dev favorite. And he's busy dropping these jams. What did you say? I am a serious crime fighter, lady. Come back when you're 21 and I'll let you suck on my implant. She's taking me more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've talked to all three strippers now. Right. And uh Oh, there's Ned and Jimbo. <laughs> oh yeah, now you're cooking. <laughs> He's encouraging. Alright. <laughs> Again, painstakingly <laughs> hand animated every <laughs> character in this game. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Scott's radio at VIP. Let's see if he's found had any more luck. Hey, sidekick, no luck, huh? That's okay. I found a couple guys. Remember to just play along. Hey, you two girls ready to party? So this is your friend, huh? She's fucking hot as fuck. That's right. Wouldn't you like to take her to VIP? I think these guys are a little too drunk. I don't know. She's kind of short. They clearly like think short. that we're grown up women. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> so, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick. You know what this means. <sighs> Okay, so what this means, Scott, is that uh, you and I are ready to do anything for our superhero franchise. It also means that these guys are confused and drunk, and they think that we're grown women. And uh, because I'm Scott's sidekick, I think I just kind of need to go along with it. So uh, I'm going to follow what it says to do on screen here and start moving in a clockwise direction. Ooh. Oh, nice. So now I got some kind of new control. wonder what that does. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it farts. Of course. The new kid's powers are all <laughs> fart-based, so he, of course, is letting it loose, farting on this poor guy. Well, I mean, th this is a good way to get information out of him. We're not, we're not here to entertain. I'm not going to pay for this. <laughs> we're here to get information on a stripper with a penis tattoo. Jesus, babe, you're sticking up the VIP room. All right. 
What kind of move was that? We're changing it up. <laughs> So this is now new timing, right? Uh, so you're moving the analog stick with one hand, and then you're timing the farts with the other. Right, I'm moving one to one. These sweet dance moves, and then trying to time some farts, because that's the best way to torture someone. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's actually enjoying this very much at all. I just lost my boner. I'm going to throw up. I don't think he's given in yet. Nope, nope, more farts are needed. I'm gonna turn it up. Get him. <laughs> you ready to talk? Almost, here we go. <laughs> this is it, my finishing move. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Let's just talk. Let's just talk. That's right, you're gonna talk. Wow. I feel like we've all learned okay, something. Yeah. Chat time? Aw, oh, man. So, what kind of work do you guys do? And did you ever dance with a girl here who has a penis tattoo? Why do you keep talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo? Yeah, yeah, classy. That's her name. <laughs> her name is classy? Our interrogation yeah, worked. I right, was ready to talk. a little dick that hangs off the C, which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course. Hence the tattoo. Classy. Hey, new kid. Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Haha! I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. Hey, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes. Okay. Well, we have the information we need now. It's classy. <clears throat> Just like uh, in the recent seasons of South Park. So now we're going to go find our girl. But first we have to fight our way past these guys. Um, and just like a lot of the adults in South Park, these guys, uh, you know, one moment we're doing very adult things, and uh, the next mo minute, hey, they're now ready to play a kid's game. They just switch gears and switch personas and say, uh, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes, and now they're just going to play by our combat rules. Exactly. All right, so let's jump into the fight. Oh, shit, my boner is weighing me down. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so in the bottom right corner of the screen... <laughs> Uh, you'll see our timeline, which means that it this is the new kid's turn first, and he's going to be followed by uh, a couple of these enemies. So uh, on the other side, you see that my powers over here uh, are... I got Faraday Uncaged and a Venus Dirt Trap and a Snowball Flurry. So I'm going to start with an opening Venus Dirt Trap and see what that does. All right, an Elemental Dirt Attack. That's a great opening hit. <laughs> nice. Oh man, clearly he is an angry, frustrated man. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. They are wasted and they're just doing big hits all over the place. All right. So Scott on is a little bit different than what the main character is carrying. He's got Coma Combo, Sugar Rush, and Insulin Shock, all of his uh, amazing diabetes themed attacks. Mm -hmm. So he's sort of a, a tank character. He does a lot of damage, uh, as you'll see here. Let's try this. <laughs> All right, we broke that table. <laughs> Anyone like a dad? <laughs> okay, <laughs> she is also a favorite on the dev team. Uh, one of the best strippers. We have a lot of fun animating her, too. Everybody give it up for Blaze. All right. So let's see what else we got. I'm going to try to keep taking out this guy with Faraday Uncaged. Okay, that applies shock and knocks him back. I got a group on that'll get me and four friends 30% off shock if we show up before seven. Leave our friends alone, team. Oh, cool. So what just happened there was that shock damage that I applied went off at the end of his turn and it was enough to knock him out. Okay. So now Scott and I are going to move in for the kill on this guy. We're going to get surround him. This guy looks kind of nervous that his uh, buddy was taken out of combat. That's right. All right, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to apply this new Snowball Flurry, which is another Elementalist attack. Ooh, so pretty. Ooh. Whoops. Oh, bitch. That's the last time I pay for a high-priced $20 stripper. Gosh, these guys know a lot about stripping. <laughs> 
Okay, because he's chilled, he actually had to skip his turn. And now Scott's going to get to move in. We're going to use his Coma Combo that hit. and knock him into the new kid. Let's see. All right. And the new kid gets one more counter attack. Now let's send him back the other direction. One more Faraday Uncaged. Go, Scott. Yeah, take him down. <laughs> All right. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. So now we got some XP from that fight, which is heading and getting us closer to a new hero rank. Uh, and down here, we also got some components, but let's talk about what those do in the next video, where we'll be covering some exploration and crafting. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for part two.